Uh, we thank God that the greatest, very greatest improvement in terms of security in Borno State. Um, uh, Borno State, we are doing very well now. Our rehabilitation and resettlement is also going very well. Uh, we are looking forward to see how we can uh, rehabilitate uh, Maiduguri Gamborungala Road and then Maiduguri Banki Road with a view to opening up opportunities for the people to earn their means of livelihood. Yes. So, what next in the new year? Uh, we want to see how we can sustain uh, what we are doing. So far, so good in terms of security. The federal government has done well. The, the, the military has also done very well. Uh, we are now looking into the possibility of rehabilitating the victims of the insurgency. Quite a number of them have surrendered, and then the federal government is supporting our mission of rehabilitating them. But most importantly, we are yet to complete our resettlement project, of which uh, very soon we shall resettle communities of Gudumbali local government area of Borno State. And then we shall also resettle all our refugees that are living in the Republic of Niger, Charter Republic, and, and, and Niger, and Cameroon. The President has given approval to this EPEC, and very soon we shall start the... How soon do you hope to complete the entire resettlement process? Resettlement is not something which is it's not something easy, you know, uh, it, it, it will take a very longer time. But the most important thing is that those that are very much in need to be resettled will be resettled. But most importantly, we have closed down all official IDV camps within Medjugorje Metropolitan Council and Jerry local government area, as I said last one year ago. So now we don't have any official camps, IDV camp within Medjugorje Metropolitan Council. The unofficial camps will also be closed in, in, in the next few months. But there was yeah, a that, uh, that there are still some areas in the state where insurgents are still holding suit. Even in the developed world, we still have uh, some pockets of insecurity. But by and large, we have succeeded a lot. Ninety, over 90% 90 of our security situation uh, we have re uh, has been improved. So you are seeking re-election bid. Uh, how prepared are you against the opposition? It is impossible to question the destiny of God. <laughs> mm. So how is the campaign going? Mm. Very well. <laughs> campaign is going very well. But not that is APC family. <laughs> One big APC family. Yes. Yes. Th thank you. Thank, thank you. We Borno State. People of Borno State have voted during the 2015 election. They have also voted during the 2019 election. Can you compare the security situation in 2019, 2011, and 20, now? The security in Borno State has improved tremendously by over 90%. So we don't have any problem. Voters, eligible voters, can go and cast their votes on election day, inshallah, in Borno State. We don't have any problem.